visited uh, the apes, I think about a week, but no, about a month ago, when a certain bot was not released, but re-released. Again, we'll talk about that in a minute. I will, I'll, I'll, I'll re I will announce what it is in a minute. I'm going to give some clues first. Um, so a bot was uh, re-released, and I said, you know, this guy's not really working. I was very excited for it. And he said, oh, well, I will, we'll get to it, we'll fix it. Never heard anything back. Then I put it in the books channel for playtest, saying, you know, this guy really needs sorting out. Didn't hear nothing back. So I hit Dale up, said, Dale, this guy needs fixing. I was very excited to use this guy in the Prime League, give it a bit of testing, try it out. But sadly, he's just not quite working as he should. And that bot is Brawn. So on the live server, I think I got my eyes around level 63, 64. Was very excited because obviously they added a bounce when he was released into the previous batch. I was like, wow, you can take out any two defenses pretty much um, for six ability points. Now, granted, MDS, Shock Towers, and Enlightening Rod Cores are going to negate it. But I was like, but still, like, if you've got a front-loaded base for you know 12 ability points, you can pretty much get rid of all those defenses very easily i was very excited to use him watch one of the first players to really put him into our war team and try him out just in prime league for now see how he goes maybe bring him into a uh, unicorn league to the crazy amount of damage and will kill uh, defense is quite cheap compared to what other bots do but sadly since he's had his buff he just doesn't work and so when i talk about unicorn league i talk about having a plan in place now, whether it's Unicorn League, whether it's Prime League, me personally, I like to have a good plan in place. And so I want to know, if I use Xbox in a certain way, why is going to happen? Very simple. And so, if I drop draw on the right here, and I target the Spider Mine, I would expect them to hit the Spider Mine, then the turret. Hit it again, take out the Spider Mine, take out the turret, he then targets the cannon. Then I would expect to hit the cannon. And if it hits defenses only, the next available defense is the beam laser. So I hit the cannon, hit the beam laser, do it again, hit the cannon, hit the beam laser. He will target the uh, energy on storage. And then if I hit the spider mine there, it should hit the missile launcher. I hit it again, it takes it out. So although I spend 6, 12, 18 ability points, all my team then should path round to the energy storage, to energy storage, to the mortars, to the cannon, and I can path them upwards, skipping this half of the base. Yeah, I can take the defenses out with a bar if I need to, but I've pathed them the right way up. So let's drop Braun, let's see what happens. So we target the spider mine, there's one. And you see there, it's actually jumped to energy storage, so now that's going to affect my pathing. It's actually not even took the spider mine out, so I'll hit the. Now it hits the turret and then the spider mine. Let's hit the turret again. But now I'm going to destroy that and it's going to stun the next one. So now it's hit the missile launcher. Let's hit the, the cannon. Should hit the beam laser. Nope, it's the energy on storage. Braun's dead. The first target is always predictable because you're obviously targeting it. But then it is completely random. It's not even the next defense, it's not even the next building you know it literally hits a completely random building and you cannot work with a bot that deals in this way that does random stuff you know you, you need to be able to plan and me and text talk all the time about having a bot that does what you want it to do and when we talk about our ratings videos why we don't like Optimus prime because there's that bit of doubt in your head that you go if i rush is it going to work and that's what really makes a bot sort of useless. Is it can be the best bot in the game, but if it only works, even 80% of the time, that 20% of the time for us in wars is the difference between a 300 that can win the war and a 280 or whatever. It's a big difference in these really fine lines in top wars. And so when you've got a bot like Braun, that you want to use in a certain way, it doesn't, it's useless. It is completely useless in top level wars. You need to be able to depend on X to do Y to achieve Z. It is very, very simple. And it's quite sad, really, that we had Braun 
We got him in testing. We did this. We said, listen, he's broken testing. They tried to fix it, preventing walls, which they did, but didn't solve it. We told him again in testing, it is not working. We told them after testing, when he was in the batch, saying, listen, he is not working. People are going to get this guy, level him, and it's not going to work. They did nothing. I literally told him in bug channel, and literally nothing. I've not even had a response. I've not even had a... So it was, listen, it's going to be a week or two. Literally nothing, nada, no communication whatsoever. And if it was just, again, as always, and I know I say this all the time, if it was just that, I know, I understand the bugs happen, but when they are there for four weeks without being addressed, I sort of start to worry. And it's not the only bug in the game. I sort of spoke to the apes and said, there's more. I also said that they released Blue Streak. Came out such great acclaim. Great bot. And the G1 came out with Cup as the emblem. And literally spoke to him about this. And we actually had a person in my alliance. And this is how it can affect people's spending patterns. That he was trying to get Blue Streak's G1. And was frustrated that he wasn't getting it. And then he came in the chat and was like, actually, you know what? I actually got it. I didn't realise because I thought I'd got Cup's G1 randomly. And I was like, well, this could be an actual issue. Because people might not be investing in Blue Street waiting for the G1. And they might actually even have it. So I would advise people that if you have Blue Streak and you're waiting on what is G1, just go and double check, guys, that you might actually already have it and not even know it. You might actually have it there. So go and double check the inventory, guys, and see if you've got it. But it's not the only bot to have this. Um, literally the same thing has happened with Beachcomber. Beachcomber's emblem's not working. It's been an issue for quite a while in the test server. And we thought it was just a test server thing. But apparently it's not. We had Huffer's G1 showing as someone else as well. And I can't even find Huffer's G1. I'm looking now. But I'm literally having to press... And there we go, Huffer G1 damage, G1 Huffer heal, and that has Drift's face on it. And then literally say with Beachcomber, you can see Beachcomber there, um, high up the screen, uh, that has cups on it, and that keeps changing every time you sort of go over it. Now it's Sunstreaker, Sunstreaker, see if it changes, now it's first aid, and Sadly, these things are coming from the test server, and it's these small bugs, and I said that look, when we sort of release these bots, and they're, not, they're still buggy, Space even come out and said that they want these endurance bots to be the peak, the absolute peak of the game, that people want and desire, and things like that, and I just said, it just seems so cheap that you can't even be bothered to get the, the, the art right on these new endurance bots. You know, you want people to invest in these, and it honestly just feels like you can't even afford an artist. It's I don't think that for one minute. I don't think it's they can't afford an artist. But it's these small things, these small little fixes that we don't get for new releases. And I kind of understand, again, I kind of understand bugs will happen. But Blue Streak's been out now for two months. Braun's been in a batch and was testing over Christmas, just after Christmas. It's been just over a month now since we were testing Braun and said there's a problem with his ability. So these bugs are just not getting fixed. And every time in the newsletter we look, there's one bug. And to be honest, half the time, like, I didn't even know it was a bug. I didn't even know. You know, where there's more pressing issues where bots are literally not working. And even little fixes like they are on a G1 core um, just isn't working correctly. Again, I, I thought we sort of turned the corner. I mean, really good endurance bots, um, you know, improving old content and then we sort of went back to bots not being finished off not working as they should individual endurances for bots that aren't supposed to be war bots i just feel like we took strides forwards last year and literally since before christmas we literally took strides backwards it's literally felt like one step forwards two step backs the step forward being the last round of last year the two step back seeing Literally since Christmas, and it sort of worries me, especially when we talk about lack of endurance numbers in top alliances for this endurance. Um, and yeah, you know, it's so these basic, very basic stuff 
that they really need to get right and really need to fix quickly um, if we're sort of to you know progress with the game uh, and keep the game as healthy as it should be from here on out.